Welcome back to Gig Harbor Paddling. Today we're going to talk to Coach Allen. We have a little bit of an interview. Uh, we're going to do this every week. We're going to do a new video drop on Tuesdays. Today we're going to talk about how long you've been here and the things that you bring to the team to help the kids uh, visualize and give them some encouragement. Uh, first off, how long have you been here? I started this thing uh, 20 years ago, right behind us over there. Right there? Right there. Awesome. And uh, how many kids were on the team when you first started? Well, just my son and his friend, 11-year-old son and his 11-year-old friend. Just Scott two? Puckett. Yep. Two kids? And that was for how long until you started building? An well, actual actually, within weeks, I started dragging kids off the street. Just <laughs> kids out of sailboats, kids off the street, and uh, that's how we built. Probably, we probably had eight to ten in the after a, a month or two. Okay, and as people may or may not know, here in the Pacific Northwest, it's all it's not all sunshine and rainbows. As you can see, we're standing in the rain. Um, tell us about how to motivate kids during a practice or a session when it's cold and, and why do these kids keep showing up? I, uh, I firmly believe that the tougher the obstacle, uh, the better, the more you're going to learn from it. Right. One day uh, right behind us, I came down here and this was all frozen over. When I got here, the kids were throwing rocks out on the ice and saying, no practice today, no practice today. I got the pontoon boat and I broke a pathway all the way around the harbor came back and I made them paddle that day I want them I want them to remember the times that they overcome those obstacles yeah and that's 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 part of their growth what's the saying uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger exactly and awesome. also you know when you're down there in uh, Georgia or uh, Oklahoma City and it's 100 degrees you're gonna remember uh, breaking through the ice that's right it makes them tough that's great plus there's a certain element of the kids falling into the water at, at least at first where they're falling in and so they have to be tough right oh yeah, yeah. So, so it builds i think this sport builds character builds strength and it makes them overcome things overcome fear and for instance that falling in thing you mentioned uh it's fear and uh, you, you, your body locks up and you can't perform well it's the fear that often leads to falling in the water you need to relax and just uh not have fear go with the flow right yeah Awesome. Well, we saw a little bit earlier today, uh, you did a little inspirational speech. The kids love your, your stories. The kids, I talk to my kids about it. They, they just hang on every word. So everything you're doing here is great. Uh, the kids appreciate it. I hope you feel that they appreciate it because they do. Thank you. Yeah, well, uh, I, uh, I enjoy the heck out of it. And Allison asked me uh, some time ago why I stick around. <laughs> and uh, basically, uh, it's so pleasurable when a, a young person picks a goal and then they work for that goal. And uh, I have the honor and privilege of supporting that goal. And goal setting and uh, trying to achieve that goal is gonna follow them the rest of their lives, right. whether it's in a boat or not. And so it's a, it's a real honor and privilege for me to be able to do that. Awesome, well thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right.